Hi, this is Trolls from 8DO. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating our Adagietto. Adagietto is a compilation of Adagio, and it's all about full string ensembles. So you have the basses, the cellos, the violas, and the violins all laid out on your keyboard. But if you're looking for more Divisi or solo type of instruments, then Adagio is certainly the collection to look for. But one of the beautiful things about Adagietto is that everything is laid out, so you can just have fun right off the bat. So when you play your spiccato strings, or your sustains, or macado, whatever you're doing, it's all just laid out from the deepest basses to the highest violins, just right at your fingertips. In this video, I'll be demonstrating our dynamic bowings. Dynamic bowings is a concept that Colin and I developed for Adagio. We got tired of listening to traditional multi samples where you're sort of trying to crossfade between the different layers to create that swelling motion of the strings. So in Adagio, we recorded over 120 20 different types of dynamic bowings for the four sections and we took the best of those and compiled them into Adagietto. So in this video I'll be demonstrating our four different types of dynamic bowings. We have two for the traditional full orchestra and then we have two with Sodino or muted strings for the full orchestra as well. But let me kick it off here with the first dynamic bowing. This one is a little more subtle. It's a piano to mezzo type of arc so you get that beautiful soft swell in the sound. You can almost hear the sort of the gentleness of the bow on the last note, just that soft sound of rosin. Let me try to play the Sadino variation of this articulation as well. So this is going to be still more soft, sort of a one stroke motion, again from piano to mezzo, but this time with the mutes on, it's a, just a gorgeous sound. And that's the type of emotion that you get with dynamic bowings. It's near impossible to mimic with a, with a mod wheel. I'll do my best in another video to demonstrate our awesome sustains and Sudino sustains as well, but there is, there is something to this that's very hard to mimic. Let me also demonstrate here one of our harder arcs. This is a piano to forte to piano arc, so it's a little more, it has a little more body to it. And also in this one, and it goes for our Sudino arc, uh, which is stronger as well, um, it's a two bow motion. So you're gonna hear the bows goes like wow, wow. And again, it's kind of funny with string libraries. You think about how strings operate. The most common motion is to go up, down on it. It's kind of funny we say up, down, because the strings play sideways for the most part. But I'm sure you get it. It's just that idea of getting a double motion in a string. Let me just let me just play it for you. It's easier. And you know what? It's kind of funny. You have the most simple note in the world, just two motions, and it's probably the most common motion you do on strings. And how many libraries can do that? How many libraries actually just have that very basic back and forth kind of motion? It's one of the things that we really focused on a lot in Adagio, and we've tried to sort of transfer that to Adagio uh, to some degree. Oh yeah, and I should also mention uh, that if you use your pitch bender, obviously you can control the timing of these arcs, so you can make a tempo sync to your um, composition as well. Anyway, but let's get rolling here on the dynamic wearing two, which is more about piano for the piano for the normal section. I think it's just absolutely vital for string writing that you can do these kind of things. And again, it's impossible to mark this up on a mod wheel, not only just because of the dynamical transitions, but also for something as simple as the two boring. Let me um, try to emphasize this point a little more here with our stronger Sodino arc as well. So essentially we're still in the piano for the piano land, but this time with the mutes on. And I think this is probably my favorite patch of all dynamic bowings. It just has one of those rare sample qualities with it where you can sit easily 30 minutes and just play this one and just feel it. 
But as always, words are cheap, so let me just try to um, play something for you here and see if you agree. Isn't it gorgeous? I, it's just, this is as good a sample as it's gonna get, at least in my world right now. Also, let me show you this guy here. This is our cello legato. One of the beautiful things about Adagio and the way we conceptualized is that Colin and I sort of looked at Adagio and were like, what could we do to make the legatos easier? We obviously have a really elaborate amount of legatos for Adagio, um, but since Adagio is all about just being able to play and have fun right off the keys, what could we do to make it as easy as possible for you. And the concept we came up with was to do a, what we call a three layer velocity based type of legato. When you play soft, you get that slur portamento. When you play normal in a normal velocity range, you get our village legato. And when you play harder on the keys, you trigger our instinct legato. So essentially just based on your velocity, you can sort of morph between these different types of legatos and it's just so expressive and easy to use. I'm just gonna play something completely random right now and just see how easy it is for me to go between the slur to so sort of normal and fast legatos. One of the great things about instinct is that it's a fairly fast legato type. And obviously as well, you can control both the dynamics and the vibrato of the sustains connected to the legato. Um, here and you can assign obviously any CC you want to it but we also have legato speed controls and legato volume controls which can be quite useful but let me uh, let me just play here And I think that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Also, remember to check out our other Adagiero videos where we're covering the sustain, short notes, and particular our legatos as well. So um, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.